When many people think of the term greenhouse, many think of farming crops or solar drying of foodstuffs such as the hibiscus plant. Greenhouse, however, is excellent for trapping the sun's warmth in a lower atmosphere due to the greater transparency of the atmosphere to visible radiation from the sun than to infrared radiation emitted from the planet's surface. For Said here in Kikambala, the greenhouse means a shorter drying period for the coconut briquets and the opportunity to go for a larger market due to the shorted production cycle. Initially, we were drying the briquets outdoors but we decided to build a greenhouse to prevent the briquettes from getting spoiled when it rained. Once the briquettes have dried out in the greenhouse, it is now time to pack the briquettes into various size bags as Said shares. We have casual workers coming in to pack them in 25 kilogram bags. Our packaging is in 25 kilograms for the bulk buyers and 2 kilograms for the retail uh, consumers who want to buy smaller quantities. A bag of uh, 25 kilograms is going right now for a thousand shillings and uh, a two kilogram package is going for 120 shillings. In February 2016, three people died in Mukuru slums in Nairobi due to carbon monoxide poisoning as they were boiling their supper, Githeri or Najiko. Over the years, many Kenyans have come to realize the threat the carbon monoxide poses to their loved ones and have sought alternatives to this. Luckily for Said's startup, this is a blessing. Many locals and foreigners residing in the area have embraced the idea of using coconut briquets over charcoal, providing a wider market reach for Said. Most of our customers are from the hospitality industry. We supply some of the hotels in North Coast and a few in the in the south coast. We also do home delivery for the households that are based on Mombasa Island who, who are a major part of our customer base. Uh, the feedback we're getting from our customers is that they love our briquettes because they're more affordable they cook faster, they have higher energy, and they are smokeless. Most of the households used to buy two bags of wood charcoal every month. With our briquettes, they buy only one bag of briquettes, which means they are saving at least 50% of their cooking costs. Aside from transforming the community's predisposition of charcoal, Said has faced numerous challenges. One such challenge that he shares is the inability to meet the market demand. At times, the product demand is so high that the supply cannot even meet half a fraction of the demand. One challenge that we face right now is that it takes a little longer to dry during the rainy season. So the demand usually exceeds the supply. Um, another challenge is finance. Most of the banks will not finance startups or new businesses. And if we want to grow, we'll have to either go for an investor or, back to, or go back to family for, for funding. As we walked around the Kenkoko factory with Said, one thing was very evident. The heart and passion of the local community Said has grown up with and married into. Thus, he has created jobs for women in the coastal region who are looking for a source of income. That people like and is helping the community conserve the environment. The unemployment rate is very high in Kilifi County, so the people of Kikambala have welcomed the setting up of a factory in the area. We normally train at least 10 new people every month in the briquette production process. The heart of impact and purpose of the venture has also spread to his employees. We spoke with two of his oldest employees who are also passionate as Said on transforming their community's fuel sources. Mimi 
kuhusu coconut chako lubricates ni vile inahifadhi mazingira maana watu wakianza kutumia chako lubricates watapunguza kupata miti e, na pia ni nzuri kwa sababu ukianza kuitumia haina sparks ina wakatu pale blue flame eh miki binafsi imenisaidia maana yake nimepata ajira na pia ninaitumia kupikia so naona imenisaidia eh mimi ningewaambia wasikilizaji wenzangu watumie carbon charcoal briquettes kwa sababu ina hifadhi mazingira na pia iko cheap in price na pia hautaki vitu vingi kuiwakishia eh pia unaweza okay. wakati kama huu wa baridi unaweza ukawasha jiko kwa nyumba yako na ukalala na unapata haita kusumbua eh It is said that vision without action is a daydream and action without vision is a nightmare. Said has big and audacious goals for his company. One of them being casting a wider net. My vision is to see a fuel efficient community where the health of the people is not affected by the smoke from the fuel that is currently used. As we wrapped up the interview, we asked Said if he had any words of wisdom for anyone who wants to get into this venture. This is what he had to say. To the younger generation who want to get into business is you must you must start small and grow your business, but at the same time you must be resilient and be able to persevere through the ups and downs that you will face throughout your startup phase. If you would like to reach us our telephone number is 0786 263 or just google Ken Koko and you'll get all our contacts and background information As we wrap up today's show always remember that challenges are what makes life interesting and overcoming them is what makes life meaningful Keep it tuned to KTN Farmers TV.